Hi Nazim, I'm happy to see these new essays from you. Let's get right into your uh, essays, see what you had to say. Okay, pollution becoming worse, large cities, what are the reasons, and how can they be solved? All right, great. Let's see. Pollution is becoming a significant issue of today's world with the, the here, the situation becoming worse. You didn't need the is here. Uh, with the situation becoming worse in megalopolis. We usually we say metropolis. All right, okay. Um, there are fierce debates about the issue, its origins, and the way, not the ways of solving, but the way to solve the contamination problem. Personally, I believe pollution is coming out of negligence to the environment in general and to the urban population growth. This essay will discuss the pollution sources and the ways to tackle it. All right, that's lovely. I'm really glad that you've informed the reader that this, these are the two issues I'm going to talk about. Why pollution is occurring and how it can be solved. So well done there. That's exactly the way you should approach this um, type of introduction. Okay. Um, there is ample evidence. Yeah, I feel like here you needed to support. Okay. There is ample evidence to support that since the industrial, industrial revolution, there has been because you used since here, so since needs to be used with has been. Uh, there has been a strong tendency uh, to neglect the environment. Both companies and people stayed so focused on making decent profits rather than considering the impact of their activities to the environment. Therefore, some of the activities such as mining and oil, you didn't need to come here, oil drilling, um, were performed without compliance to ecological norms and thresholds proved themselves to be extremely harmful for water, soil, and all species living there. I don't know what you mean by thresholds. For instance, an incident occurred at the drilling uh, platform in the Mexican Bay back in 2013 where millions of tons of oil were simply not wasted, they were um, they were dumped in the bay, uh, were simply discarded in the bay. All right, let's change the grammar here. Where millions of tons of oil was, millions of tons of oil were, yes, were simply uh, dumped in the bay, leading to the death of many wild birds, fish, and lead co land contamination with oil. More than that, the British gas at the time platform operator attempted to demonstrate skepticism over the proof of extremely harmful effect of its drilling operations caused to flora and around Mexican Bay Coast. Okay. Okay. A lot of things happening here grammatically that are making this difficult to read. So let's try it again. Um, I wouldn't have said more than that, which isn't really very English sounding. I would have said additionally, British gas. Uh, how about this? No. Um, additionally, at the time, the British gas platform operator attempted to demonstrate skepticism over the proof of extremely harmful effects. Oh, of the extremely harmful effects its drilling operation caused the flora and fauna of the Mexican bo uh, Bay coastline in an attempt to safeguard interests of the company's shareholder. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, so where's your therefore? Wrap it up for me. I know that you've got a lot of things happening here, but you could have said therefore, um, companies and people's uh, desire to earn more money has led to environmental uh, pollution. Okay. Furthermore, many huge industrial objects are often located in the middle of big cities. The reason for that is because back in the middle of the 20th century, the major concern for both government and business middle objects closer to cheap labor force. To, okay. A, cheap labor force, maybe. In those times, dealing with waste disposal generated by the industrial giants was far... Um, was a far more remote remote issue of the future, perhaps. However, the current situation with the industri industry objects requires to take... How about this? Requires taking draconian measures on environmental safety. For example, in Beijing, there are more than 300 manufacturing enterprises, uh, every one of them making huge emissions to the city's atmosphere, leading to the acute shortage of clean air experienced by 20 mi a million uh, of Beijing's population. On top of that, there are changing patterns of people's behavior. Not only do people 
need jobs, but also they understand that they need to stay healthy to get a job. The number of protests against Beijing's extreme contamination levels occur more than twice a year. Indeed, an increase of people's awareness of companies complying with ecological norms now fosters development of more eco-friendly production processes with companies allocating more money on environmental activities. Okay, this is, um, it's lovely. I mean, you've had a nice, you have a number of really nice grammatical structures and some really nice vocabulary here. However, you told me that you were going to talk about ways to tackle this problem, remember? That's the whole point. You're supposed to, in this paragraph, talk about the problems, and then here you're supposed to talk about the solutions, and I don't see them right um in other words it just seems like you you've continued more or less along this same um yeah i mean i don't really see how you've developed this as a solution i mean here you say it requires taking draconian measures but you never tell me what those measures are i mean the only thing you've told me is that people are protesting but that doesn't really help you have to be able to provide solutions like for example there should be stronger measures taken by the government on companies that uh, create emissions. Um, they should either be forced to shut down or they should um, take their business to really, really remote areas, something. Or there should be huge taxes uh, enforced, something. But you have to provide solutions and you have to support those solutions, meaning that you have to also show how those solutions could help solve the problem. Don't feel like you did that here in this paragraph, all right? In conclusion, I would like to state that progress in industries is one, uh, is, no, how about this, is the foremost, no, no, is the, is the major reason, that's it, let's get rid of this, um, progress in industries is the major reason for global pollution, to replenish resources, we have to legally enforce strict requirements on all production companies for following, no, uh, all production companies to follow the environmental regulations. I do believe that the need for clean air and water will only increase in the future. Okay, full stop here. Remember, when they ask you two questions, they are basically telling you they want a paragraph for each. Okay? It's not enough to just state one solution in the conclusion. In fact, the conclusion is never the place for new information. Any new information you provide must be written in a paragraph. And your conclusion is just where you want to kind of wrap up the whole business and just, you know, finish and just get out of there. Okay? So keep that in mind when you revise your essay. Um, make those changes and I'll be looking forward to seeing it. Now, to move on, let's take a look at your letter. You're looking for a summer job. Great. Dear sir or madam, you do not need a comma here. You need a comma here. I am contacting you with regards to the summer job advert of the four. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. I'm contacting you with regards to the summer job advert for the position of treasurer assistant in finance plus. Okay, please let me kind of introduce myself. My name is Az Az Nazim Abulina. I am in my third year at college with finance being my concentration. I'm looking for a job which requires internal control, impositions, attention to details, and regular scrutiny. The treasurer's assistant job description stated in the advert covered these duties. I have experience, not an experience. There's a big difference between these two words. Like when you use experience as countable and when you use it as uncountable, different meaning. Okay, so just be aware of that. I have experience in payment arrangements working as an intern uh in the accounting department of best buy during the summer of 2017 i performed a recording of purchase transactions into the larger into the general ledger in sap accounting software alongside with recording of cash prepayments to suppliers and calculating the post payment accounts furthermore i contacted suppliers who received advanced payments but did not deliver goods and services and arranged refunds of cash which they received as prepayments by referring to the contract terms the total refund amount was $45,000. I believe my experience in payment recording and SAP ledger, my knowledge of Microsoft Excel, mm, here you needed an and, and my knowledge of Microsoft Excel presents me as a suitable candidate for the position that is being advertised. Since I have brought value to my former employer, I am confident that I will bring similar or even higher values to your company. I am looking forward to hearing from you, yours faithfully, Nazim. All right, lovely. Great. No problems. I mean, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Um, what I want you to be careful of is this kind of stuff right here. Okay. Um, you know that the folks at IELTS are really detail-oriented. So 
You have to be careful with the way you start your letter. You have to be careful with the way you end your letter. And of course, you have to make sure that you cover all of the bullets. And you've done that. But this was a little awkward, all right? Also, don't forget that when you get the paper, um, when you get the, 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 the task, it'll say, start your letter, dear, dot, dot, dot. And then you supply this. But yeah, you do not want a comma here. You just want to say, dear sir, madam, and then comma. So that's the sounds like a detail, but it's actually serious. Okay, so good job with these. Keep on um, correcting them. Uh, primarily that the task two needed some work, as we've already discussed. Um, so correct them, add to your error correction list. Um, write your next essays, and I'm here. I'm waiting to see what you write, so good luck with it.